be? How could I be defeated? How am I the one to disappear? Instead of the endless struggle, wouldn't it be easier to wrap oneself in lies and live in blissful ignorance? Isn't that true peace for humans? How many times do we have to tell you? The hell with that shit! Stop assuming you know us! <laughs> Very well. Then try and live your way. Power enough to erase my existence. You have already exceeded what I thought humanity to be capable of. You have lifted the fog in this world, as well as the fog in your own. And whether that will lead to happiness or not, rests upon your shoulders. Children of man, well done. It seems this is more like a beginning for us, though. Well, now we've got no regrets for tomorrow. Welcome back. Everything's finally over. You really are incredible. I'm no match for you. You just fought the other me that split from my personality. The two Sagiri, the other me, and the me that is speaking with you right now. They were all originally one within me. But there was nothing I could have done without my powers. If not for you, I would have disappeared along with the fog when the Hollow Forest vanished. Thank you so much. You saved everything. I'll be alright. The fragments you defeated have returned to me, and will soon become one. My name is... Izanami no Mikoto. The fertile will that protects those who live in this land and fulfills their wishes. I will not forget you. Please do not forget. I am always by your side. <laughs> How marvelous. You have driven back a godly being and brought about a new world. This will be the last time we summon you here. Soon, the fog will lift and our destination will be visible. We will be arriving shortly. This journey was a fruitful one, worthy of marking a turning point in your destiny. Many a time along the way, did the fog of lies prevent you from moving forth. Yet in every instance, you overcame the temptation of easy exits and false terminals. In forging bonds with those precious to you, you move closer to the truth, one step at a time. And my heart danced with delight to see you succeed. I am most honored to have borne witness to such a wondrous journey. Our destination is close at hand now. Well then, we have finally come to your journey's true end. Our contract has been fulfilled. 
my own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Now, go forth and see with your own eyes. See the world you have won, the bright, magnificent future. Yo. Well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. N no more senpai from t tomorrow on! <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. But... but... <laughs> Sheesh. Um... <clears throat> This stuff's kind of contagious, you know? We gotta put on a good face for Senpai. Big bro? Mm -mm. I don't want you to go away! Nanako... Didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. And Nanako's better now, too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. Sensei, I finally found a place for me. That's why I'm going back over there. To make sure it never goes wrong again, I'm going to protect that world from now on. I can finally be proud and say that world is where I belong. Man, Senpai, this town's gonna feel empty without you. How cruel! Were you even listening? We can see you anytime we want, you dork. Like you'll be gone long. Soon as you start craving something like ice cream, you'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Come on, my honeys. Bluffing that way isn't very cute, you know. You're just gonna be going in and out of the TV at Juness. How's that different from what you've been doing? I can't quite decide what to do. At first, I only planned on staying here until the case was completely closed. 
Maybe I should stick to my original plan and take the train back with you, senpai. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I couldn't do something like that. It's not as though we'll never see each other again. Feel free to call me anytime, even if there isn't a case to solve. I don't feel like saying goodbye either. Hey, you got any plans during the long holiday in May? If you're free, come over and visit. With no mysteries to solve, we can have some real fun. I'll make reservations now so that we can stay at my family's inn. Ooh, I can get my revenge for that night. Our surprise sneak attack will work for sure this time. Don't bring that up, you stupid bear. Hey, what happened to going back to that world? That has nothing to do with this. It's entirely different. That reminds me. She's not here. I would have thought that she would come today at least. Huh? What? Who are you talking about? Oh, you mean Marichan, right? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen her ever since. Oh, is she doing okay? Pretty sure. So you haven't seen her either then? Well, as long as she's doing well, that's okay. But back to a serious note, she should have at least shown up here since this is the last time we'll see you. Most time. You better get on the train. Come back anytime you want. We can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. If anything happens, you can always come back here. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks for everything. Please take care. As soon as I can look out for myself, I'll go see you. Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running! Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, be careful. I'll see you, Big Bro. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's really gone. It's sad that he won't be around, but we will be okay, right guys? Doesn't matter how far apart we are. The bonds we've made will remain strong. Everyone's heart is connected to the people they know and trust. It's those bonds that let us all search for our purpose in life. As long as it's a purpose you believe in, there will always be someone who can help you fulfill it. You, me, and everyone else, there are no barriers. Our hearts are one. Right, Sensei?
I have seen the light. I've learned the most important lesson from the events last year. Unfortunately, this world is full of things meant to deceive people. The things you do in pursuit of justice may actually be a terrible mistake. One man is not enough to judge these things. It was a group of boys and girls who taught me that. In their spirit, I want to join hands with all of you to rethink this town's future. I want Inaba to be a town free from deceit and distractions that keep you from focusing on the things most important to you. Hey, kid, do you know who that is? He was arrested during those terrible murders last year, right? And now he's running for mayor. That was a surprise. He's so passionate, though. At first, no one wanted to go near him, but look at him now. I've been to a few of his speeches. I think he might be a pretty nice guy. If we can all work together on this and not get so sidetracked by passing trends, this town will regain its former glory. So please, lend me your strength. Please! What do you think of beefsteak onigiri? We can freeze it and sell it nationwide through amazing commodities. I don't know. Those are handmade, aren't they? I don't think we can mass produce them. On the other hand, maybe limited quantities and handmade are good selling points that could revitalize this town. I thought of moving away once, but I don't think I could bear to be away from here. I understand completely. This is where we were born and raised. We'll have to work together if we don't want it to fall apart. Great news! Judas said we'll have their full cooperation! Yes! Good thing we went to talk with them. If only we'd done it sooner. But what are we supposed to sell in a locally produced goods section? I guess the steak kebabs are good, but what other stuff is there? We're not famous for anything else. Now give me anything, you halfwit! Vegetables, fish, even ramen. As long as it's something we put our backs into, it'll sell like hotcakes. You gotta work hard so you don't embarrass Janess. We can't be weak now. Away, idiot! Only because you are slow, slow like a jar of molasses! Shut up! He's going to hear! Ah, oh, we blew it! Oh well, here goes. One, two. Wah! Bah! It's a bear! What are you guys doing? This isn't anything like we planned! 
What's with the bar? It's a bear. Oh, you make it sound like we're the ones getting ambushed. I knew we'd run into snags. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we heard you were coming, so we planned a little surprise. I mean, things got kind of nuts when you last visited in May. We thought instead of you coming to each of our houses, we'd spice things up this time. Yeah, and we thought you'd miss us a little if you couldn't find any of us. It didn't go quite like we planned, but it's been a while, senpai. Were you surprised? She laughs for even less reason than before. Ooh, so hey, Senpai, how do I look? Did you think I was someone else? Is your heart melting? Oh, come on. You know who's changed more than anybody else here. Yeah, will you asshats lay off? You're getting a little rude there. Well, we have all changed a little. None of us can remain in stasis forever. <laughs> oh, stop laughing already. None of us want to be the guy who's always talking about how great things were back in the day. As long as we're all here keeping an eye out for each other, we can change. Yosuke's still a show-off. Not me, though. I'm different now. Why, I've powered up so much that I'm probably a grizzly bear. Huh. Sounds powerful. I'll stick you with all the manual labor, then. Oh, hi. It's me. Did the surprise go well? Sorry, they asked for my help, so I acted like I wasn't home when you came by. I'm a pro when it comes to seeing through a lie, but when I'm the one who has to put on an act, I don't last five seconds. Anyway, bring them all back here. I've got a good meal waiting. Oh, really? Let's eat! Hey, Kanji! This is to celebrate Senpai coming back! Shut up, I know! Senpai, that's your second one. We get one each, remember? <laughs> you kids sure eat a lot. I thought I might have ordered too much, but look at you, plowing through it already. Sorry about that, and thanks. Isn't Nanako-chan here? I'd hate to eat her share, too. She's at piano lessons. Don't worry, I set hers aside. Oh, didn't I tell you? Yeah, Nanako started learning the piano. She should be back any time now. I'm sure she'll be rushing home. Ever since she found out you'd be back, it's all she's talked about. Yeah, me too. She's growing and learning every day. It's an amazing thing to see. Just watching her gives me strength. It's slow, but I'm moving on, bit by bit. Actually, I came across some information about an old hit-and-run incident. The victim was Chisato Dojima, my wife. I've been chasing dead ends and false leads for so long. But I think I'm finally getting close to the truth. Just when I thought I'd keep my personal feelings separate from my job. <laughs> it's strange. Though, it's thanks to you that I was able to draw that line in the first place. Thank you. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, about the incidents last year. Uh, Namatame got released on lack of evidence. I 
can't tell you too much, but basically no one could reproduce his supposed methods, not even Namatame himself. He was very insistent on the details of his crimes, but a diary isn't enough evidence to build a case on. He came to me to apologize, but I told him he should come up with his own way to make up for it. He said he was going to run for mayor. I don't know how serious he was about that. Oh, so that was Namatame-san giving those speeches. Oh, yeah. And I went to see Adachi. What happened to him? Were you the one to interrogate him? No, I wasn't part of that. I couldn't be. We were too close. But he was indicted. It was probably just circumstantial evidence, but he said a lot of things only the real killer could know. After they set a trial date for him, I was able to go see him. I see. They say he's a model prisoner. The bastard says he gets better treatment behind bars than he did when he was working with me. Huh. Next time when I go see him, I'll bring him a cheap cabbage. I'm home! Dad, is Big Bro... Big Bro! <laughs> Surprise, Nanako? Welcome home, Nana-chan! Teddy, too? And Risei-chan! <laughs> Everyone's here! I'm learning piano now, and I've been a good girl! <laughs> I'll play for you sometime! I didn't think she'd ask to start piano lessons. Like mother, like daughter, I guess. Chisato was a piano teacher, but Nanako's pretty good herself. At first, I didn't even want to hear the word piano. Now that she wants to learn, I gotta get over it. I remember what my mom played. I'm gonna play it for you, Dad. Dad, the weather report's on. And now, the weather. It was nice and sunny today, but what will it look like after that? Take it away, Mariko. Hello, Mariko Kasumi here. We've been having a lot of rain recently, so starting today, I'm gonna make it sunny. I mean, after all that rain, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any water shortages this summer. And besides, someone's visiting. I can't have it rain while he's here, so I'm gonna keep it sunny for a while. Mariko? Mariko, please calm down. Oh, but if it gets too hot, then some rain should be fine. He should tell me whenever he wants it different, and I'll change it. Just like that. Oh, I forgot to mention... She's been coming here a lot. She's famous now. How'd she get so popular so fast? What was the station thinking? Her stage name's so boring, too. This girl will decide tomorrow's weather, right? Whenever she says it's going to be sunny, the sun comes out. Uh, in her case, maybe. Thanks, Mariko. Tell our viewers goodbye. Uh, yeah, yeah, but before that, a personal message. I'm doing just fine. Love you. What? Uh, what's that? D did she just confess her love? on a public news show? <laughs> I can imagine the complaints flying in right now. Kids these days. Wait, that, that was your name. If only you were so lucky, huh? <laughs> I hope you all have a good day tomorrow. Remember, the more you put in, the more you get out. The more you get out. I see that weather girl a lot. The younger ones at the station tell me they feel motivated whenever she does that. I feel it a little myself, to be honest. Well, I'm just glad the weird fog is gone. Now we don't have to obsess over the weather report. It is really great, though. Everyone in town is more motivated. Yeah, people have so much energy now. You're right. It doesn't wear you down walking through town anymore. Not like last year. Everyone has a more positive outlook on life than when I first came. It shows people can change. For better 
Or worse, I guess. Depends on your perspective. After the fog lifted, I'm sure people just realized that it's a lot brighter when your eyes are open. There's a lot we'd rather not see. A lot of grime in the human heart. But if you close your eyes to everything, you can't even see the people close to you. How can you be happy like that? The only thing to do, really, is to keep marching on, straight ahead. I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> Guess I had more to drink than I thought. Oh yeah, Nanako, didn't you say there was something you wanted to tell him when he came home? Your cooking is barely food, Chie. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, it's cold, Yosuke. I could have made something uh, too. Please don't. Hmm? Um, what was that? Mirage? I can cook if I put my mind um, to it. Mm -hmm. So can I. Mm -hmm. uh, that's. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Well, yes. yeah. Uh, um. Well then. One and. It's well, good to see you, senpai. Well. Kanji, it was welcome back. Uh, How could you mess that up? It just. Shut up, all right? I just got stage fright, that's well, all. Well, I figured someone would blow it.